Welcome back Techno Beast. My name is Don. Happy New Year. Today we're gonna take a look at the Andover Q160 SA tripod. Is this a good budget tripod? Let's go. Tech newbies. Just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. There's definitely no bias here. The item arrived wrapped in this white plastic with a thin layer of bubble wrap. This item sells for around $60, but I got it cheap on a sale for around $35, roughly 1,600 pesos. The item is enclosed in this blue and brown carton box that has a camera tripod marking on the two opposite sides. Inside the box is a small bag with drawstring for the tripod. And of course, inside this bag is the tripod which is enclosed on a plastic bag. By the way, I liked how this bag was designed with these textures or pattern. Removing the plastic bag. You'll find this ID case which has the manual and an allen key for adjusting or retightening the tripod legs. The build of this tripod is surprisingly solid, though you can see that the legs are quite thin. The legs are locked in place by these square levers. To adjust the legs, lift up the lever, then swing the leg outward and push the lever back in place to lock the leg in place. Since this lever is not spring-loaded, you have to lift and return it in place manually when adjusting the legs. All three legs open up to a nearly flat profile for a wider base. This is how this Andover tripod stack up versus the Manfrotto B3 Advance. There's a big difference in the thickness of the legs on these two tripods. The ball head can be panned. Just unscrew this smaller knob to loosen it. The bigger knob is for adjusting the position of the ball head. It's quite assuring that there's enough friction on the ball head while adjusting it. This ball head comes with an Arca Swiss mounting plate. This mounting plate might be a bit small for larger DSLR cameras, but you can easily buy larger Arca Swiss plates online. There's a knob at the center for adjusting the center column. At the bottom of this center column, there's a spring-loaded hook for attaching weights to make the tripod stable. The center column can be mounted upside down for macro photography. Just unscrew the bottom cover where the hook is. Then loosen the center column screw and pull out the center column. Then insert it upside down. There's a notch on the center column so this will have to align on the tripod when inserting it back. According to the specs, this tripod has a maximum weight capacity of 8 kilograms. So mounting a mobile phone is a non-issue. This adjusting screw sometimes gets in the way when mounting this to the ball head. The primary purpose for this tripod is to hold my lighting in place like this ring light. Here it is with my Sony A6400 mounted on it. Panning the ball head with this load looks stable enough. This was without any weights on the center column hook. Fully extended, here it is compared to the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. 
for its price, it's well built. I filmed my top 10 video using only this tripod to mount my Sony A6400. I use some ankle weights to make it more stable. Will I recommend this? Yes and no. Well, this is rated to support a maximum capacity of 8 kilograms, and it has a surprisingly good build quality considering its price. I'm not quite confident that it could hold that much weight, given how thin these legs are. If you will be using this with a compact camera or a mirrorless camera with a kit lens, then this is great value. But if you are using this together with a DSLR or heavier lenses, you might have to look somewhere else. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Keep safe. Peace.